Here's a quick tropical cyclone update with me, meteorologist Stanet Buerta. I want to start with this incredible footage taken out of the International Space Station of intense tropical cyclone Freddy in the Indian Ocean. Back home in South Africa, everyone's asking me, why is the storm named Freddy when the next name on the list for the southwestern Indian Ocean cyclone season is actually in Nala? Well, to understand that, we need to look back on the journey Freddy has taken thus far. And about two weeks ago, Freddy strengthened northwest of Australia. That's why they gave the storm the name Freddy. He has already traveled more than 6,500 kilometers across the Indian Ocean and will not only be known for its strength, but also its endurance. Only two other storms back in the year 2000 has traveled across the Indian Ocean. So is Freddy going to reach South Africa and can we expect any heavy rainfall in Mozambique or Madagascar? Let's see. Freddy is currently situated about 130 kilometers north of the island of Mauritius with wind speeds of more than 120 kilometers per hour close to the eye. That's equivalent to a category four hurricane and is also actually moving quite quickly in a westwards direction of about 31 kilometers per hour. The storm will slam Mauritius and reunion with strong winds and heavy rainfall and is expected to slam the coast of Madagascar by Tuesday night with also strong winds, storm surge and heavy rainfall. The storm will then actually quickly move over the rugged ground of Madagascar and exit into the Mozambique Channel where it will yet again intensify into a tropical cyclone and then move in a west northwest direction and by Friday morning make landfall just south of Vera along the coast of Mozambique. Now we can see that path of destruction and heavy rainfall with intense tropical cyclone Freddy here over La Reunion. Heavy rainfall expected and then slamming the coast of Mauritius of Madagascar as mentioned on Tuesday night. Most of the rain expected over the coastal areas. Thankfully, the storm is quickly moving over Madagascar and then again strengthening in the Mozambique Channel. I want to show you that it's actually this reaching high, keeping the cyclone away from South Africa. But we all know as soon as a cyclone makes landfall, it will weaken into a depression and it moves over the African continent. And it will continue to bring heavy rainfall, especially for our neighboring countries, Zimbabwe and Mozambique. And there's a likelihood that the storm could also result in heavy rainfall for the low felt of Limpopo as well as the northern bordering areas. But bear in mind, these types of systems are extremely erratic and the forecast can change from one day to the next. So the Vox Weather team will continue to give you updates. Please stay safe, everyone.